This is a Math 1 lesson summary video for the lesson titled Getting Schooled. This is a solidify understanding task. The purpose of this lesson is to use linear models of data to interpret the slope and intercept of regression lines with various units. In the last lesson, the students noticed that there was a difference between men's and women's salaries, and they thought that it was unfair that the women were paid less than the men. So they decided to dig deeper into the Census Bureau's income data to see if they could understand more about these differences. So in the lesson, you'll look at different data sets and make some comparisons. Uh, for this example, though, I'm going to use the data from the previous lesson. So the median incomes for men and for women. So for all men and for all women from 1990 to 2005. And I've entered this data into Desmos, where the X1 values here are the women's median salaries and the Y1 values are the men's median salaries. And to put these titles on my X and Y axis, I went over here to the wrench and by X axis, I put in the title and Y axis, I put in this title. Now I can't see any of my data, so I'm gonna use the zoom fit feature right here at the bottom of my data table. And I can see that I have a, a positive correlation between women's median salaries and men's median salaries. And just to talk about what this means, what these data points mean, if I look right here, this first data point, and this means that in 1991, the women's median salary was 18649 where the men's median salary was 38145 and with a positive correlation, we can see that as the women's median salaries increased, so did the men's median salaries. Let's go ahead and do the linear regression line. So remember, I have to look to make sure that I know what my variables are. So x1 and y1. And then I'll type in y1 and then the tilde mx1 plus b. So my parameters here, the slope is interesting. It's 0.7326. It's less than 1. And the reason why that's interesting is, remember, slope is an uh, indication of rise over run. So every time that the women's median salary increases by a dollar, the men's median salary is only increasing by 73 cents, approximately 73 cents. The y-intercept is telling us that when the women's median salary would be zero, the men's median salary would be $24,177.70, which really isn't a useful statistic for what we're looking at. The correlation coefficient, 0.8976, shows that we have a strong positive correlation. Other useful information that we can get from this graph and this line of regression would be the average men's median salaries and the average women's median salaries over this time period. And to do that, I'm going to look at the data and kind of estimate if this was a line segment that went from about right here to right here. I'd estimate the center to be somewhere around here. So the average women's median salary would be around $21,420, so that's for this time period, and the average men's median salary for this time period would be about $39,869.96. To recap, the steps that we took with this technology is once we had the data table entered, and again to enter the data table, you just add the item and you click on table, and then you can enter your data. After you have entered the data, make sure that you take note to see what the variables are labeled as. So we have x1 and y1. So then I'll use y1 and then a tilde. You find the tilde by using shift and it's the key on your keyboard to the left of the number 1. And then m for slope, x1 because this is labeled as x1. And then plus b for the y-intercept. Here, this gives you your slope, your y-intercept of your line of regression, 
and your correlation coefficient, r equals 0 0.8976. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.